Recent reports show only 47% of third graders in Bay County passed the English language arts portion of a statewide progress monitoring assessment. Bay District schools officials and local program volunteers say they are determined to bridge that gap. News Channel 7's Victoria Scott shows us what efforts are being made to reach that goal. Declining literacy rates amongst younger students are showing nationwide. Across the nation, there's, there's a deficit, and I think the pandemic really, you know, it, we've really seen some challenges with that. But Bay District Schools officials are working to improve these rates locally. One initiative includes promoting early screenings in young students. We are screening more pre-K students through our Child Find, which is a state-run um, program. These screenings are meant to catch potential learning impairments early on. At age three, if they qualify, then we can place them in a pre-K classroom and they can receive early intervention um, from age three to the time they enter kindergarten. They're also using data from statewide standardized assessment scores. Recent reports show only 47% of third graders in the county passed the English language arts portion, the fast assessment in the 2022 to 2023 school year. Teachers and administrators have now disaggregated that data and looked at that data to determine individual learning paths for students. Outside programs are also encouraging reading in Bay County. For example, the Free Library on Wheels program started back in 2019. We're just hoping to play a small part and, and helping our children in our community be better readers and like to read, uh, which will certainly have a, an, an overall positive effect as they get older and go through our school system. Volunteers give away books to the community. The Free Library on Wheels or Flow makes the mission possible. We are well over 40,000 books. We just had our third shipment of 20,000 books provided to us, donated to us uh, by Better World Books. It's a gift that keeps on giving. In Bay County, Victoria Scott, News Channel 7. And you can find the flow vehicle sitting in the Bay County Public uh, Library parking lot when it's not at schools or special events. BDS officials urge parents to read to their kids at night. They say even five to ten minutes can make the biggest difference. And speaking of flow, WJHG wants to help get books in the hands of more people in our community. Our chapter chat book drive began today. You can drop off new books at the Panama City Beach Public Library, the Bay County Library, or right here at our station from now until December 1st. These books can be for children or adults, but we are most in need of children's books. We'll distribute the children's books to the free library on wheels we just told you about. We'll take the adult books to the little community libraries in area neighborhoods.